Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be looking at a new CCA KZ product. And this one is the Rhapsody. And looking at the specifications, it's 81 grams, 3.5 millimeter, 0 0.75 millimeter, that's kind of unusual. It's a QDC connector. 20 to 40 kilohertz. 15 to 20 ohms depending on the switches. We'll get into the switches in just a minute. Sensitivity is 102 decibels. So, okay, accessories. I'll get into that in just a minute. Sorry about that. Okay, here it is. You get that typical KZ cable. I mean, what more has been said and done about the KZ cable and the tips, those Starline tips. Love them or hate them, they're pretty good. They're not overly mushy. The cable's decent enough, it's not a tangle magnet. You know, so even though I've just ro I rolled this up and put it off, it still untangles very easily. So, you know, not bad cable, not my first choice in cables. But let's look at the units. Now these have a good size to them. There's a little opening vent there. It is a all resin body in the back with a metal face plate. Typical design that they've done over and over again. Uh, this one kind of looks really nice though with the, the circle there. Nice sh like shell kind of markings. So comfort wise, these are a little bigger than some of the other ones that just came out. I'm, trying to think of them probably mm, around the shape of the d5 maybe a little bit bigger not as big as the as24 but very 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 uh close in thickness there are switches on this one and depending on the different switch modes you can tune it and fine tune it to you know whatever you want there's you know a little bit more emphasis in the mid bass there's a little bit more emphasis in the sub bass basically it mostly affects the bass there are some subtle differences in the mids um this is a v-shape so that said you know the mids are going to be nice and clear but they're going to be rich and, and very very nice uh tuned overall pleasantries there though there are some good technicalities here there's really good staging with this it's accurate and open um really open there was actually a couple of songs i was listening to where there's people like shouting along to the song and they're in the back and i was like is somebody in here so that's pretty good when that that happens um this does like volume this does like a little power it's not a hundred percent necessary but it does like it Moving into, let's start with, off with the mids. The mids are enhanced on this, obviously. It's a V-shape. Um, with comparisons of some other ones, like we just recently did the e, EM6L, and that's more neutral tuning compared to this. Um, a little more details. This one isn't overly detailed. It does have some decent detailing, uh, but this one is more on the warm and smooth side. Uh, still good technicalities here. Uh, overall separation and clarity is very very good uh, forward mids both male and female really sound good uh, they're not overly emphasized so there's no shoutiness here uh, probably one of the most naturalist sounding KZ CCAs that have been out in a while um, those balance thermometers are tuned really really good uh, and overall it is balanced I would say it's kind of like a balanced v-shape if you were just want to oversimplify the tuning on this uh, balanced v-shape very very nice uh, the, the mids are rich they're not overly thick but they're definitely far from thin there's good emotion there but there's not an overabundance of energy there it's not like in your face shouty energy Moving on to the treble. The treble is good. On the graph, it kind of looks peaky, but it, it it isn't at all. There There isn't, like, there's no harshness or fatigue, uh, even on, like, violins and stuff like that. So I like that. I, I really like the tuning that they did with this one. Um, 
I'm, I, I know there was a ridiculous question the last time, and there's one now, like, compared to, like, the um, Moondrop Blessing. Now, the Blessing, of course, has much better details overall, but if we're talking about, like, pleasantries and some bass and, and stuff that I like that I want to listen to, I think this one has much better bass control and depth. Uh, both mid and sub bass are very well represented here. Uh Comfort-wise, it's going to depend on your ear because this is kind of thick. There's really good isolation. I mean, even with these stock tips, you know, never mind adding a better cable, adding better tips, you know, playing around with the switches, which I do recommend. Uh, you know, inside the box, you get this cable, you get the units, you get three different size tips, and of course, you get that little, looks like a cell phone SIM tool there for doing the switches. Play around with the switches. Now, the, what I'm discussing right now, this is stock. Uh, I did do the switches. I did notice some differences in mid-bass and sub-bass. Uh, there's definitely, it boosts it, and then in some, it may take maybe some sub-bass away and then mid-bass. That's your preference, whatever you like. But these have a really nice ability to be tuned, changing the tips, playing with the switches. Overall, I think it is very warm and smooth, super pleasant sounding. I think you could listen to this the whole day with no problem. Uh, comparing to other ones that are out now, they're a little bit more detailed, but there's more, you know, some, some of them have that BA timber into them. This doesn't have that, which is good. They've eliminated that. Um, just, I don't want to sound like a commercial, but out of the ones that I've had recently, I think this is now my favorite. So if you were thinking about like getting one, and that's been upside down the whole time, if you were thinking about getting one, you might want to consider this one because it is just super pleasantly tuned. Uh, it, there's the right amount of warmth. There's the right amount of detail. There's the right amount of, of treble extension without overdoing it. Um, Bass-wise, very, very good bass. Very deep bass, solid bass. Bass cannon ter territory, mm, it, it possibly. It possibly could be, depending on how you tune it. But bass isn't the only thing going for this. It's just overall the, the, the just nice flow uh, of it is very, very good. I mean, you don't get the mids all mucked up. There's a slight recession there. It's a V-shape. You're going to expect that because when it dips, that's where the thing is. But the vocals are forward, and it doesn't favor male or female vocals. It does them both well. And there's not overly brightness on top like some of the other IAMs. Every IAM had, you know, something like this one. Not super energetic when it comes to the treble. But it's also not harsh either. And you get just enough and it sounds really, really natural. Uh, when I'm listening to the cymbals, I'm getting all the detail that I need. And overall, you're not going to be buying these for an analytical pair. You're going to be getting these because you want to enjoy them. And for $50, now, you could spend $300 on a pair of, of, of IAM. Uh, you could spend whatever, was it like 200 something for the, uh, the, the Blessing 3s or the Blessing 2s. And, you know, with those, you're going to be getting more details. But overall, if I was going by, like, base and just, just something I want to grab every day, I think pretty much this would be my choice over that. Now that said, there, there's a large competition. There's Planet Magnetics. There's, there's hundreds of different ones I could compare this to. But overall, this one is a multi, you know, driver hybrid. And it's not an easy task to get all of them. This one also has dual dynamic drivers. Now, I think I do have a couple of pairs that have dual dynamic plus BAs. And then, of course, I have a dozen just dual dynamics. We actually have one coming up for review. Um, but overall, they're very good. There's, there's a good, uh, decent, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Coherency with these. Very, very good. All the drivers working in sync with, with each other. And I think they did a good job with this one, really. Um, now, obviously, if you're in the market for something that's $300, you're not even going to be looking at this. But I'm talking, you know, relatively enjoyability for 50 bucks. 
uh, this one is very good. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to sit down and I'd have to look at all the prices of the different ones that I've done recently and pick out, you know, is this the best in the $50 range? I hate using that word, the best, because there literally is no best. I may absolutely love these. And then somebody else may get them and they may not have my DAB or my phone or, or all the amplifiers down the bottom there. And they may say it sounds like garbage. They may not like it because it does depend on the source and it does depend on what music you're listening to. I do like rock, um, hip hop, uh, metal, like speed metal and industrial metal, uh, K-pop and jazz and blues, uh, just a large variety. There are some classical type musics that I listen to, especially like anime uh, soundtracks and just a large variety of music. And I like it when something comes along that can do that. This can play all those types of music. Not for critical listening, but for enjoyability. Um, yeah. I mean, you, you couldn't do uh, any worse than just spending the 50 bucks on this, taking it home, and finding out you like it. I think the caveat here is the cable. It's that typical cable. It's the typical tips. And these are good tips. These were always my go-to tips when I wanted to increase, like, bass. I just, for some reason, I always like those. I've got a lot more, like, more expensive tips now, but those are always good when you were on the budget. The cable, I can't complain about the cable. I think they, they look fantastic. They are a little thick. I think smaller ears, there might be a little bit of, like, discomfort there. But otherwise, um... And the, the air hook on this cable. It's that typical small... I mean, I have a big air, so, like, I'm going to have to, like, heat these and probably make them, like, this shape. That's no big deal. I'm, a, I'm actually going to change out... After the review, I'm going to change out the cable and the tips. But other than that, uh, looking at some of the other multiple hybrids, and I have a lot of them... Uh, Thinking about ones that this sounds relatively similar to, uh, maybe similar to the, the, the Blessing, similar to the Yen Yen Cannon, um, definitely not the ML, that's more neutral. Uh, I can't think of anything else that I have. Oh, um, definitely a little bit better control, a little bit better... Um, then the Kiwi, uh, I can't think of it, whatever it was, Quartet? Was it Quartet? I think this does a better job than that overall. Um, of course, that's more money, and all the other ones that I sp spoke of are more money. And you're going to get things with them that you're not going to get. You're going to get more, you know, a better resolution, um, probably maybe higher highs with more energy, maybe some harshness on top, maybe not. It depends on your equipment. Uh, relatively, I have a bunch of equipment, so I test it. If it does sound like complete crap on one thing, I'll try it on another thing. There'll be a big difference. Some things sound really, really great on the DAP, and other things sound better on just a dongle. Uh, everything sounds good on the Griffin and some of the other ones that I have. I do try to uh, not use Bluetooth anymore, uh, but just for the heck of it, I, now and then I include this, the um, the Pegasus SG-1. Even though it is a bit, bit on the uh, temperamental side, it is a temperamental uh, device. Like, if it's even halfway through the battery, it won't want to connect. Uh, it doesn't like 4.4 millimeters. Sometimes certain ones, it won't play the sound. It does aggravate me. It, it it really does aggravate me sometimes, but it sounds great. So I so that's why I keep it around. Anyway, talking about these CCA Rhapsody. So in a nutshell, without the rambling, without the comparisons, because I really hate comparing things, because unless some things are exactly alike, there isn't much sense in comparison. And I know you guys always ask me this versus this versus that. Sometimes it's like some IM that I've never heard before. But there are multiple 
you know, driver IMs that I have now. And I've done a big comparison, especially the ones with the uh, the one dynamic and the four balanced armatures. Now here you have four balanced armatures and two dynamics. And of course that, that dual dynamics adds a whole different level of the bass. It, makes it, it gives it a nice wide bass, almost like a stereo bass. And I, that's the kind of bass that I like. I like the bass that sounds like I'm sitting in front of a speaker. And that's very good. And I think, justifiably, it does far better bass-wise than the Moondrop uh, Blessing 3. But that, that's a $300, 200-something dollar IM. This is a $50 IM. The only point being in that is that it's impressive for the 50 bucks, honestly. And I know it's a flagship, and you know the box isn't exactly impressive for a flagship, and neither is the cable. I would have liked um, them to use that nice cable that came with the the Czar. I think it was like a copper, or maybe that was a silver one. There were two that just came out recently they had some really nice different cables and i'd like to see kz use different cables i'd like to see them include the foamies and the different tips that they've included in the past other than that uh, it is a good set for 50 bucks uh, that is for sure is it the best in the world it depends on what you like to be quite honest if you're looking for something that is warm smooth it's a v-shape it's got some really good pleasantries there's there's good technicalities there as well it's not an overly uh, analytical i am but there are good technicalities you definitely might like this one uh as for the kz's and the ccas that have came out out of all of them so far this one i like the direction that they went in with this so, that said, that's about my opinion on this. Uh, if you're looking for a flagship that has all the glamour and everything else, you, you look elsewhere. But if you're looking for just something that came in a simple box, it's got a simple cable, simple tips, and just sounds really pleasant, this is the one that you probably want to pick. Thank you so much for watching. This has been The Rhapsody. Uh, from CCA. I keep wanting to say KZ, but it's the same company anyway. Thank you for watching. Be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Got a bunch of them coming out. Thank you.